Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're learning about how to factor trinomials of the form x squared plus bx plus c. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. Now notice we have three examples here. And each one of these examples covers each of the different possibilities of a trinomial in this form. Notice that we don't have a value in front of x. Our coefficient here is 1. There's different rules that apply when that changes, so bear with me. But here are the rules we have with these, well, three different options. Let's start with our first one here x squared plus 11x plus a 24. Notice here our b value is a positive number and our c value is also a positive number. Now I first want to determine the factors of 24. What two numbers multiply to be our c value? 24. Okay, well 24 can be a well 1 and a 24. That multiplies by 24. And let's work our way down. Let's give me 2 and a 12 multiplied by 24. Uh, 3 and then 8 multiplied by 24. And then a, um, was it 4 and a 6 go to 24. And as we go down, 5 doesn't go to 24. And we keep going, and then we get 6 again, right? And 6 we already know to be 4, and so we don't really need to keep writing. We have all the factors really we need here, and we just can well, flip them around if needed. All right, so now we know all the factors that multiply to be a 24. Well, now we want to add them. 1 plus a 24. What does that equal? That's 25. 2 plus a 12 gives me a 14. 3 plus an 8 gives me an 11. And a 4 plus a 6 gives me a 10. Do any of these numbers equal our b value? And yeah, right here, right? 11. Our b value is 11, and we're good. So that means our factors here are 3 and 8. Or not factors, they are, well, how, well, how we factor it, uh, the problem here. So 3 and 8 are our two numbers here we're looking for. And so we have an x plus a 3 and an x plus an 8. And that's how we input them here x plus 3, x plus 8, is a factored form of x squared plus 11x plus a 24. Now our second example here is a little different. I hope you noticed it. Well, besides the variable y instead of x, be careful with that, our b value is a negative number, but our c value is a positive number. Okay? So if we looked at before, we had to find out what two numbers multiply to be our c value. But notice we didn't talk about the negatives. We didn't say, well, negative 1 times a negative 24 gives us a positive 24. We could have used those. But we didn't because our b value was positive. In this case here, since our b value is negative, we're only going to look at the factors of 28, or two numbers that multiply to be 28. But they both have to be negative because our b value is negative here. All right? So let's go try this out. So what numbers multiplied to be a positive 28 that are negative? We have a negative 1 and a negative 28. They multiply to be a positive 28. And notice I'm not going to put a comma here. We're just going to add those up in a minute. What about negative, well, 2? Negative 2 goes into 28. That's being negative 14. Negative 2 times negative 14 equals a positive 28. 3 doesn't go into 28, and 4 goes into 28, so we have negative 4 here, uh, and negative 4 times a negative 7 gives me a positive 28. We get to 5 doesn't, 6 doesn't, 7 does, but we already have it here. So we only have three groups of numbers that we have to worry about. Let's go add them up. Negative 1 plus a negative 28 here is a negative 29. Negative 2 plus a negative 4 equals a negative 16. And negative 4 plus a negative 7 is a negative 11. Negative 11 is equal to our b value right here. So we want to use these sets of numbers, negative 4 and negative 7. So if we're going to factor this out, again, our variable is y. We have y minus a 4 and a y minus a 7. And that is the factored form of y squared minus 11y plus a 28. All right, so let's go dive into our last example here. We have a 2x plus x squared minus a 48. 
Now notice this isn't in the right order that we want, so let's go order this around. x squared plus a 2x minus a 48. That's a lot better. Now, notice again, a value is 1, but our b value is 2, and it's positive. So we have a positive b value, but our c value is negative, okay? And this becomes a little, well, kind of tricky. Really what we're looking for is what happens when our c value is negative here. If our c value is negative, we're finding numbers that multiply to be a negative 48, which means one number has to be positive and one number has to be negative. And this is where it kind of gets confusing. Sometimes students will write down all possible options and flip them around, but we can look at our b value to give us a clue. We know we're going to multiply these two numbers, they have to be negative, but when we add them, it becomes a positive, which means the smaller of the two numbers has to be a negative. Okay, and we'll see that in an example as I work it out here. So let's go find numbers that multiply to be 48 or negative 48. That's going to be a negative 1 and a positive 48. Notice again I said we're going to add them in a minute, and negative 1 plus a 48 is going to be a positive one, a number because, well, negative 1 is a lot closer to 0 than 48 is. Keep on going down. Negative 2 times a 24 gives me a 48. Negative 3 goes into 48, I think it's 16 times. Negative 4 goes into 48, uh, that is going to be a 12 times, and then 5 doesn't go into 48, uh, 6, negative 6 goes into 48, it's going to be 8 times, and after that 7 doesn't go into 48, and we're going back around. We would have negative 8 and a positive 6, so if we see that for a second, negative 8 and positive 6, notice when I add these two numbers up, I get a negative number, and we know that can't be a possibility for our b value. So that's why we worry about the smaller number here, in this case here, being a negative number versus the larger number. All right, we have all the factors of negative 48 that we can use. Let's add them all up. Negative 1 plus a 48 comes out to be a, uh, was it 47? Negative 2 plus 24 comes out to be a 22. Negative 3 plus a 16 is a 13. Negative 4 plus a 12 is an 8. And negative 6 plus an 8 is a positive 2. Again, all numbers that were positive, that was by design again. Now, which one's our b value? And we have it right here. 2, all right, our b value is 2. So our numbers are negative 6 and positive 8. Due to the fact that I'm going to run out of room, I will write this factor right above it here just in case I'm a little off camera, and let's go write that here. We have an x value, we're going to do minus the 6, and we have x plus an 8. And that is the factored form of 2x plus x squared minus a 48. I hope you learned how to factor trinomials of the form x squared plus bx plus c, and all possible variations of that. If you did learn something, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.